Are you tired of selling your cards on eBay, creating the listing, taking the pictures, front, back, shipping, non-paying bidders? Let the pros at Fanatics Marketplace do all of the work for you. I do. That's why I use Fanatics for my vaulting and for my selling. If you've got a bunch of unwanted inventory that you've been sitting on for days, weeks, months, years, ship it to Fanatics Marketplace and let them do all the work. Just make sure when you ship it, you use the promotional code CAJUN, all capital letters, C-A-J-U-N, and tell them that Cajun Cardboard sent you and let the pros do the rest at Fanatics Marketplace. Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard, coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with mail day number 155. It's been a while. I have not been picking up very many cards. I've been selling a little bit here and there, trying to build up a nest egg. Um, but I have picked up some relatively meaningful cards. This video is going to be great. It's three Jordans. It's two Jude Bellinghams. So I've stayed sort of consistent with the... Uh, the mail days despite taking a little brief hiatus here uh, but uh, let's get cranking first and foremost if you want to support the channel hit the subscribe button it's the easiest way it's free it takes two seconds I'll give you two seconds now one one thousand two one thousand hit the subscribe button you did it good job hit the like button if you don't mind if you do like these mail day videos hit the bell icon for notifications I'm doing about five six seven sometimes eight nine videos a week yes I know that sounds crazy I'm the most consistent basketball card content creator in the world period i may not be the best but i am the most consistent let me turn my phone on silent and act at least somewhat professional and let's get cranking here we go we've got the new fanatics collect vault not the pwcc vault the fanatics collect vault we got five cards today let's start with the uh probably the biggest and the baddest or one of the biggest and baddest and that is the very very strange very rare mercurial 1995 often mislabeled finest mystery orange border test refractor you see test issue on here sometimes you won't see orange sometimes you won't see issue sometimes you won't see refractor it's chaos it's crazy it's nutso but this is your card mine has a tinge of greening on it um i picked this up for a shade over 1500 bucks the same exact card same exact certification number at one point had sold for 2000 bucks in 2023 so i felt like i got a pretty good deal on the card this is what it looks like i did pick up a psa 8 here's what we've got in card ladder for you guys who are following at home and you care about prices Here's where the, this exact card sold the last time was in November 10. Uh, was on November 10, 2023. So about what is that? Ten months ago? Uh, nine months ago? Something like that. Uh, sold for two thousand dollars on eBay on a fixed price. Buy it now. I picked it up. <coughs> I think for like fourteen sixty for maybe sixteen forty is what it was. Something like that. So a little bit under that last sale. Uh, but go, wait, going back real quick, this is what the PSA 8 pricing looks like. Uh, All-time highest ever paid, 2000, 1677, 1515, okay? Uh, the thing, uh, all hell breaks loose when you plug in a nine here. Now when you get the PSA 9, you're talking about 3500, 3000, 3000, 3000. So it takes it up to another whole level. Am I looking for a nine? I am. If I can find a nice clean nine with absolutely zero greening, I absolutely would be interested. Here's what a PSA 10 looks like. 13,000, 11,000, 9,000, 9,000. Humongous card, okay? Here is why. Here's the pop report. Only about 274 have ever been graded. Uh, the PSA 8, which you saw today in my mail day, is a pop 47. There are 93 nines and there are 34 tens. There are also seven BGS 9.5s. This is one of those rare issues where BGS grades it um, a little bit tougher than PSA does, and PSA is graded significantly more. So uh, that is card number one of our mail day. The 1995 Finest Mystery M1 Orange Border Refractor Test Issue. I think it's just really cool. That orange border is really badass. Here's where you can see that hint of green around his neck and around his uh, bicep right there. Otherwise, the rest of the card looks good. If this looks cloudy out here, like it's uh, fogged up, that's just the way these cards look for the ones that I've seen. That's just kind of the way those particular cards look. Like even these good ones here, it looks cloudy like this. A PSA 10, you'll see in the silver, you can see that kind of, it almost looks like the, the, the slab is fogging up and that's uh, just the way the card looks and so uh, just one of those deals so where were we all right that's card number one on our list card number two on our list let's be real quick about this it's the 2020 tops chrome bundesliga prism refractor this was serial number two 199 these are actually really good looking cards at in a 2d image it's going to look <coughs> very very similar to just your regular old refractor but 
I promise you, the Prism Refractor A is serial number to only 199, and B, it just looks much different. There's a little bit more color to it, a little bit more mojo type pattern, uh, almost like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a mojo pattern in the background, just sort of a uh, Prism Wave almost is kind of what the background looks like, but it's just called Prism with an S. So add that to the list of confusing stuff in the hobby. Here is my current uh, 2020 Topps Chrome Bundesliga Rookie Rainbow. I think I have 34. A lot of these are duplicates, but you can see the sapphires. I've got the x Fractor. The Prism now is in hand. I've got, I think, 16 now Bundesliga Refractor Base PSA 10s. I got the purple, I got the pink, I've got uh, the pink wave, I've got the uh, multiple copies of the sapphire, uh, I've got the big and bad gold PSA 9, I've got the big and bad gold PSA 10, I've got the purple, I've got the purple wave, I've got uh, the blue wave PSA 10. Uh, long story short, I have got a lot of 2020. I've got the monster, the orange, the pop 12, serial numbered one out of 25. Uh, I am uh, making some headway and I am con uh, currently in the works to get a deal done, uh, God willing, for perhaps the gold wave, which would be a huge acquisition, and even the blue, two that I don't have. And that would leave me only needing the red and the superfractor, which I know where those are and it doesn't sound like I am ever going to have those two cards uh so let's keep moving right enough on the soccer stuff uh actually one more soccer stuff real quick same thing 2020 this is finest bundesliga uh this is the blue wave refractor serial number to 150 despite being lower numbered than the prism we just looked at this is actually much cheaper because the finest bundesliga product is just much less sought after for whatever reason than the tops chrome bundesliga i think tops chrome bundesliga came earlier in chronology and is just a you know tops chrome just sort of trumps finest especially in the world of soccer so this uh, serial number to 150 card lags behind the 199 prism that we just looked at i do have my finest uh, right here so i think i have 16 of these the silver the purple the purple um you know a regular refractor a blue refractor a purple wave refractor a green i've got the gold right i've got two gold psa 10s and i think i actually picked up another gold psa 10 i've got the green i've got the green wave and i've got the blue wave so uh, pretty good selection there for uh, 2020 bundesliga as well and i'm always looking for more so if anybody's got any jude psa 10s let me know all right next on our list card number four the 1990 finest embossed this is probably the biggest this fact this is the biggest card of this mail day uh this 97 embossed is the serial number to 263 i have the 1090 serial numbered uh to 1090 psa 10 and here you go this is what it looks like so this is the regular refractor it is uh, a psa 10 copy that i have in my vault and that is again serial number two 1090 as you can see on your screen but the card that we're looking at today is right here this is the 97 finest embossed same card number 287 same subset creators here except that it is actually embossed and you can kind of see it with that diamond pattern in the background this is a psa 9 copy there is your serial numbering on the back 203 that's sort of a jordan number if you take out the zero um, but this is the uh, the uncommon refractor as you can see down there in the bottom right and if we look at the uh if we look at the regular, what does that say at the bottom, just out of curiosity? That says uncommon refractor as well, but you'll see the serial numbering is, uh, is obviously different because it's 1090 versus uh, 263. So uh, that is card number four that I've picked up in this mail day and that's a pretty big acquisition right there if i'm not mistaken that might be a tier three card i have to double check it might be i think it's a tier three card in the hierarchy somebody uh double check me and let me know in the comments we could go look that up of course and then the last card is going to be a little baby placeholder very very inexpensive card i picked this up i believe for 98 bucks and it is beat up there is no doubt about it you can see that right edge has uh seen better days it's even got some some um issues on the slab itself it looks like uh but this this is the uh, 1996 Ultra Give and Take Michael Jordan card number five. Not really overwhelming or eye popping or crazy. Of course, Jordan just dripped up and gigantic. He looks really big in '96. He was coming back and uh, had that off season to get ready to dominate and win a title. But this Give and Take card in a PSA eight uh, cost me under a hundred dollars. Uh, but here's what we got: we've got uh, about a, about 200 and maybe uh, what is that? 200 and 218 total graded between PSA and BGS. PSA has six. Jim Mintz, BGS has zero. 
a zero gym rate and a 3% gym rate. So good luck finding the gyms. You're gonna pay seriously out the caboose if you wanna track those down. The PSA 9s are, um, there are only 19 of those. And so for that reason, I picked up the more prolific pop uh, 74 PSA 8. If we look at the card, there's my purchase right there. 98 bucks for this card. This card's been 98, 61, 111, 35, whatever. You're not talking about a lot of money, but when you plug in the 9, it gets a little pricier, right? So now you're in the mid 300s, 400s. I am looking for a clean 9. Of course, I am looking for a clean 9. Like we said, there's probably, what, only 19 of these. So I'm looking for one. I'd love to add that. I'm starting to pick up some 8s and then upgrade the nines and then offset the price with the eights doing whatever I've got to do to sort of move up the, the ladder in the hierarchy so it's like a hierarchy within a hierarchy I know a lot of you guys are trying to do the same kind of thing um, but uh, but that's where we're at right there and I don't even know if we're gonna find a PSA 10 we may have to go back to like 15 years or something stupid yeah these are both nines here's a 10 that sold in 2016 for 60 bucks that makes me want to throw up uh, nice to know, but uh, that is it guys. That's card number five. So back to the list for our mail day number 155. We got uh, the two big Jordans, right? The 97 Finest Embossed, uh, number two, 63 PSA 9. The Mystery Orange Border Test Issue, PSA 8. And then we've got uh, the two Jude Bellinghams that I did not have as part of my uh, Colored Rookie Rainbows from 2020 Topps Chrome and 2020 Finest Bundesliga. And then the little give and take baby down there. So that's it, guys. Five cards, five mail days. One thing you can do to support the channel if you'd like to is I'm showing you all these images on the... Uh, uh, fanatics collect vault if you're looking to to vault your cards and if you're looking to sell your cards on the fanatics collect weekly or premier auction you can use the promo code cajun all capital letters c-a-j-u-n i'd be most appreciative a little chunk of the money uh from the cards that you sell will go to support the cajun cardboard channel and it won't change anything on your end it's no money out of pocket for you but it's a nice little perk and it's probably the primary well it is far and away the primary way that I am compensated for uh, being the most consistent basketball card hobby content creator in the entire universe. Um, and I am now affiliated with Basketball Card Fanatic Magazine. You guys have to go check it out. It is absolutely worth further inspection. And guess what the promo code is if you want to purchase a subscription to Basketball Card Fanatic Magazine. You guessed it. It's Cajun, all capital letters, C-A-J-U-N. Make sure you tell them Cajun sent you. I think that if you like watching my videos, if you like watching Mail Days, if you like watching the Jordan Hierarchy, if you like learning more about basketball cards, Cards only basketball card fanatic magazine is a way to go so I suggest you guys check that out as well uh, you won't be disappointed I also highly recommend just buying a year subscription it's 120 bucks but if you use the promo code you get 10% off so you're looking at less than you know 12 10 less than 10 bucks a month for the print copy if I'm not mistaken, did I do that math right? I think I did. Uh, so uh, use the promo code Cajun, get 10% off, and get the annual print copy. You also get a digital copy if you buy the print copy. So don't worry about it. If you want to read it on your computer, you still can, but you get this nice, new, fresh magazine in the mail. It's like getting a mail day. Like, who doesn't want a mail day for 10 bucks a month? Anyway, that's it for today, guys. You can also buy the Hierarchy posters. They are still available. If you don't know what the Hierarchy is, Go ahead and check out the playlist on the channel and enjoy. You've got hours and hours upon hours of Michael Jordan card collecting content if you have not yet discovered what the hierarchy is. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell icon for notifications. Thank you guys for watching this mail day number 155. Keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby, and peace.